there so today we're going to be trying out some wish makeup I have three products to try out so the first product is by the brand O2O and this is the rose gold elixir and I believe that this is meant to be a beauty oil that you would apply prior to your foundation to give you a supple glowy hydrated base i'm not sure if this uh, type of product is geared towards uh, people with oily skin or if it's more a kind of dry skin type of situation but i mean i'm going to give it a go it claims to be rich in vitamin a and e omega 3 6 and 9 whatever that means for some reason i feel like omega is something that comes from a fish but i have no idea like how it comes from a fish also it claims to have 24 karat gold infused in it i don't think it does because i bought this for a couple of pounds right i watch porn stars right and i know that gold is uh, quite expensive and i don't think they would put it in here and then sell the product on for such a low price so call me mrs cynical but i don't care because i'm just i don't think there's gold in this fast absorbing lightweight moisturizer so it's claiming to be a moisturizer fused with 24 karat gold oh really and added anti-aging benefits for all skin types they don't really go into detail about what these anti-aging skin benefits are but apparently they're there the base of this luxurious elixir don't you just love the word elixir like i wish i had a waterfall that would have the elixir to eternal youth i mean that would just be a great elixir to have in my garden i would love it and it just says rose hips have been found to reduce the appearance of fine lines hyperpigmentation and stretch marks um 24 karat gold here we are again i mean really is a natural mineral and helps the skin look visibly radiant and you can apply this as a base or you can apply it mixed in with your uh, found deletion for a luminous finish it also claims to be paraben free have plant-based ingredients and no animal testing or animal ingredients so it's kind of i don't know is it claiming to be vegan or just against animal testing this is what uh, she looks like she's actually really pretty uh, she's in a glass bottle it's frosted and it's white and then you've got a rose gold kind of topper it looks really nice and it feels like really really nice i feel like jeffree star would love this because it does have some definite weight to it today i'm going to apply this as a base and then i am just going to kind of go on with my foundation and go on with the rest of the video i want to see how my makeup applies on top of it how it feels on my skin and what else i don't know just anything else how the dropper works because i don't have a lot of luck with droppers i'm not the oh you can see little gold look you can see little gold pieces in there like i don't know if you could well gold pieces i say they look it looks like gold i mean it's probably just foil oh my gosh it's dripping that's what she said but look it's dripping oh my gosh okay let me just rub a little bit on my hand see i don't have any gold flakes on my hand like no gold has come off it does feel pretty emollient love the word emollient one of my favorite words it kind of spreads extremely easily and oh my gosh it smells delicious it smells of lemon drops like lemon it's got a really beautiful just kind of natural fresh scent which is filling me with a lot of confidence right now i want to get like a little gold flake on my hand so you can see i mean really that's the worst thing ever but i don't know if you can see the little gold flaky bit there any any probably not so deadly let's bang this bad boy on <gasps> i feel like i'm one of these instagram girls right now i mean i'm going to put it on my face and i'll be like what did the drag queen do that was awful I mean, i'm just sat here waiting patiently for the bing truck to go past it's the loudest bing truck ever so rude okay so anyway thanks for collecting my bins though i really appreciate it because without you my house would be very smelly i mean really so i'm just gonna plop a bit on oh my gosh how much do i put on like i want it to look like i'm crying like let's go like this oh <laughs> i had a really bad day oh oh gosh oh my gosh that freaked me out i don't know why look at this okay so i'm just gonna oh i think i've put like loads on let me just wipe a bit off i'm gonna spread some onto my forehead do you know this feels lovely it feels really really just like 
moisturizing feels really nice i have oily skin so i don't know how this is gonna kind of work for me as a base the idea of putting more oil onto my skin just seems like a recipe for extremely oily skin um you know an hour in or not even an hour like a minute in but it smells so oh look look at my eyebrow <laughs> My eyebrow is uh, leaving, Le it says I'm gone, I'm out of here, taxi for me, look what's happened, I mean really I should have thought about that, I mean really what do we do, I'll just kind of wipe it away, that's no problem for me, it does, I mean it feels very, very oily and I can definitely kind of feel it on my face but it's given me like a really nice glow, I feel like this would potentially be really really great on no makeup days when you just want to have a little bit of like a, hello look at me, I've just been boning for hours and look here I am I mean really boning for hours what boning I sit on the phone for hours talking on the phone for so long look at me just glowing away so anyway I mean it feels really oily like my hands feel extremely like oily right now I mean so okay so it's there it feels okay but I can definitely feel it on my face uh, I'm going to go in with my found deletion just so I can see how well it applies on top this is the elf I don't know what the name of this is I think it's like elf perfect finished foundation or flawless finished foundation I'll confirm downstairs downstairs <laughs> I'm going to say that from now on I'm going to confirm downstairs because I'm so sick of saying in the description box but down below downstairs right so check in the basement and you will see the name of this founded liation but I'm just going to pump 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 it out I mean really you don't need to see this you've seen that before um okay so I'm going to use a uh, beauty sponge I'm just going to go in with this founded liation on top so it's going to be really interesting to see if there's any difference with how the foundation looks or how it lasts over time obviously this is a first impression so you know I'm not going to be kind of sat here all day uh, but I will kind of give you any updates in well downstairs of course I mean downstairs just look downstairs everything will be down there and I will let you know how my foundation kind of lasted uh, if, if I did as I suspected look like an oily mess within a couple of hours but I mean so far my foundation appears to just be going on really really easily and really beautifully and I feel like my face has like a glowy kind of look to it which I'm really enjoying uh, that's actually really really nice and I do feel like if you've got dry skin this would be a really great product to have in your arsenal you know okay okay let me check in my mirror of truth okay so that I mean it's looking really nice do you know my face feels supremely hydrated this foundation is a natural finish it's not like super matte and it's not super dewy it's just somewhere in the middle um, and it definitely looks a lot more dewy now and I am just living for this right now I'm really loving the way that this is actually looking on my face I think the true test though will be how does the foundation kind of sit there long term you know it's only been sat down for a minute at this point uh, but we need to know will its uh, bum start getting cramp after like you know an hour will it get I don't know patchy or just will I just become an oily situation I just don't know by the way like I don't know if this is something to do with the oil but I feel like I used a tiny amount of foundation there because I've still got a load on my hand look at that and it seemed to like spread a lot better it just like a little went a much longer way I don't know if that is something to do with this oil but I am deeply impressed at this point like I still don't believe there's actually 24 karat gold flakes in this um but I mean I think it's actually really 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 nice like I was a little bit dubious but I'm kind of liking it I'm just going to kind of set under my eyes and my chin and t-zone in general because I would normally do that so I'm going to go ahead and do that and then we're going to move on to the next product did I tell you what products we were reviewing today or did I just get straight into it like normally at the beginning I say okay we've got this we've got this we've got this did I miss that out 
Oh my gosh, how how unprofessional. Okay, so anyway, sorry about that. Um, we're going to be um, checking out this really super pretty mascara. And I also have an eyeliner today. And I also have a little stencil that I got from AliExpress. This is meant to be like a wing, winged eyeliner stencil. So I'm going to be trying this out with the eyeliner. I'm so sorry for not giving you all the info straight away. I mean, how rude am I right now? She's so rude. Okay, so let me set my face. I mean, really. Okay, so I'm just doing a little bit of cream contour. And what I am noticing is that, like, my face feels very, like, slippery in general. Oh, I'm just dropping everything. Um, What's that noise? Someone breaking into my house right now? No. Uh, even if they are, I mean, really, more important things going on right now. So, yeah, I feel like um, my face is very uh, slippery, like... And I shrink and usually with this cream contour I do have to use a brush to kind of blend it out it usually takes a while if I insist on using a sponge but look at this like this never happens if this cream contour has just blended out like it never does that it never ever blends out with a sponge like I always have to resort to using a brush but oh my gosh like it's funny, you know, because obviously I've applied this oil. I look very oily though, don't I? By the way, I did set my chin under my eyes and my T-zone with my hourglass um, kind of setting powder. Uh, so that is quite dewy looking, but oh my gosh, I'm amazed at how well my cream contour just like, there was no effort whatsoever. I said it never blends out with a sponge usually. So, okay. I mean, that's very interesting to know. And keep in mind, I didn't put the oil on top of my face it's simply underneath my foundation so it's almost like my face is some kind of i don't know like slippery zone of slipperiness i mean i have no idea so we're next going to move on to this little situation here i mean how cute is this this is a liquid eyeliner you just see there so we've got a black liquid eyeliner like uh, just with a little like felt tip end and then we've got the mystery guest which is oh a kind of waterline eyeliner but it looks a bit dodgy did you see it just popped up out of nowhere i mean it looks a bit crazy but look at that oh my gosh oh it's not going back down oh what what oh wait wait are you up forever no it's going back down okay great okay so i'm going to use this as a waterline what's going on oh my gosh it's a bit fiddly though and i've lost my lid Okay, not bad. I mean, it's going on. It looks quite uh, there. I've not used black in my waterline for so long. We could tend to either put, put like a coloured eyeliner on there or I'll put a, you know, kind of white, more of like an eye brightener kind of a shade. So I don't really use black that regularly, but... I'm really liking that. I mean, I feel like, yes, fine. I mean, it's a black eyeliner, so not very exciting. But we're going to move on to the liquid eyeliner. Now, please, two things to mention. I don't ever do like winged liner. So this is going to be a disaster. It's going to be awful, but we're going to test it out anyway. Second, my face is very oily and slippery right now. So it's not really going to be helping me out. You know, it's not going to be a team player. I'm just out to see on a raft right now with um, a coconut for my best friend. So I'm just gonna do what I can do. And I've also got these little stencils. Um, I just found them in my car earlier. I ordered them from AliExpress a while ago. Um, and they're meant to be like, you know, like guides. I don't know how they work. Like, I don't really understand the situation, but can you see there, you've got like, like a V? I don't know, like, could I put that V there and do something with it? I don't know just kind of go over it or do you use this I think you might be able to use that like that so should I try it I mean why not but I feel like this is going to go on and then it's just going to smear off because my face is just so oily and because I have no idea what I'm doing of course so um if I just get this out oh by the way this feels quite hard that's what she said I mean really with like the, this side I feel like I'm like five years old needing a little stencil because I have no idea. Okay, how can I actually do this properly? Do I stick it on? Oh my gosh, it actually sticks to my face because my face is so emollient right now, it sticks. 
I mean, that's what I'm working with. I mean, oh, oh no, it's gone. Oh, it's getting off. Okay, back on, please. Just stay there for a second. Stick, stick, stick. Why am I doing the wing bit first? Should I? I'll do the eyelid. I mean, really. Oh, this wing bit do my head in. I mean, really. Right, I'm just going to do the eye. Oh my gosh, I'm literally holding my breath here. Can you see as well? And she has no idea. I mean, where is that wing even going? Uh, I'll just kind of pop it up a little bit. See, this is what I do. I have no idea. I mean, what is that? I went, <laughs> Okay, but the, the actual product seems to be working really nicely. It's just my complete inability to do this. My hands are just not... Okay, and please keep in mind, like, this is my good eye. This is the eye that I can at least get it on there. It looks crap, of course, but, I mean, I can at least get it on there. The other eye, this is this is going to be a disaster. Like, it's something from a horror film. I mean, look at this wing. I mean, what is that? What is that? This You're not used to seeing this level of fecking awfulness, I bet. But, oh, well, she's trying. She's just trying. I'm a trier. Just, you know, I'm going to do the wing first. I mean, I'm feeling bold. Oh, I've messed it up already. It's never going to match that one. As if. We can all dream. Oh, I feel like I need to blink. Oh, what's that? Could I get away with it? I'm thinking it looks terrible, but if I can get away with it, I will. What is that? What is that right now? What? What is that? I'm when? I mean, let's get that off and start again. I mean... I was thinking, could I get away with it? And I was like, no, definitely not. Okay, go it off. Okay, luckily my face is so oily, it just came off, no problem. But I suppose that's not a great thing for the actual product. So, oh, I can't see my mirrors, like, because I'm breathing on it, like, <gasps> it's just, it's just got all misty. God, this is so difficult. How did anybody do this? And because I'm, I don't know why my eyes are like wide open. My eyeballs are getting really like sore. <laughs> oh, holy moly's! Holy moly, moly, moly! I mean, really, holy, holy moly. Okay, this is where it's going to go wrong. Okay, I might have to do this off camera because I'm a bit nervous. Like, how does anybody do this? Like, really, I have no idea. I feel like I'd have to go to uni to study for three years to do this. Do you do that right? So you make a mistake? So you just end up like doing a much thicker line? I have no idea how anybody does this. Like before I used to take my makeup off, I would stand there and just practice doing like just eyeliner just to see if I could like grasp it. She couldn't grasp it. And I would literally practice like all the time. That, that motto, practice makes, makes perfect. That's a total lie. I mean, that is not correct. You can practice and practice and practice and still be fecking awful at something. I mean, I'm a real life demonstration of that. Oh, by the way, just while I remember as well, check out a YouTuber called John McLean. Oh my gosh, like my new favorite. I'm just watching him every single day. He is the most amazing youtuber ever you've got to check out his channel he's so extraordinarily unique and has such a beautiful way with words he's just so unique like he's a breath of fresh air he's so different from everyone else on youtube but not everyone but he's just very unique i would really recommend you go check him out john mclean he's just sensational like i can't start watching him i've been binge watching him he's amazing i just wanted to mention that because i Kept saying, Amwen, you've got to mention John McLean. Anyway, I'm just distracting myself now from the awful job I'm doing. I'm going to go away and finish it in my own time. I mean, really. Oh my gosh, guys. You're going to think that I'm just so fecking ridiculous. But I was thinking, oh my gosh, like nothing's coming out. Oh, this is a terrible product. And then I realised oh, I've got to dip it back in again. I was like, why? Why has it ran out? Look, that was me like on my hand going, oh my gosh, it's ran out already. What? Like, really? Okay, so she's dipping in. Oh, and she's out. She's in and she's out. 
Anyway, I'm not even going to make a joke about that because I've got to concentrate. See, I told you I cannot apply liquid eyeliner to save my life, which is why I never have like a fancy wing or anything. And I bet you were watching thinking, oh my gosh, I'm going to bet you're not that bad. She's that bad. I mean, she is that bad. She's worse than you could ever imagine. Um, I, in a, at first, I thought this eye was better, but then I just completely fecked that up. And now, I mean, I mean, what? What's gone on there? I can't see my eyeballs anymore. <laughs> it looks so bad. Like, these don't even look like my eyes right now. But anyway, back to the product. I do actually think that this is a good eyeliner. It went on nicely. It seemed to last for ages before I actually had to dip it back in. Um, it's well again and I think it's like really easy to work with if you know what you're doing if you are just terrible at winged eyeliner and there's no shame in that because obviously I'm in the club I am in the club of I just have no idea I've practiced and practiced but I still can't do it you know I'm the manager of the club I'm just at the, the head with a hat on that says cannot do eyeliner I, I'm terrible just total crap I mean that's me so anyway we're going to move on to the mascara I hope that we're actually going to be able to see my eyelashes with this hideous situation that I've um designed on my eyes but we're going to do it anyway so this mascara is by the brand Nayes Girl Nayes Girl I, I will leave all of the product information downstairs of course so let's have a little look at the one by the way the packaging is immensely pretty it's rose gold and then it's got little like diamantes on it and then you've got like a little kawaii kind of face like she can do her eyeliner unlike me girl has got good eyeliner and there's me in the background like I mean anyway so so okay let's check out the wand Okay, oh, it's got a little tail. What is it with AliExpress mascaras or eBay mascaras and a tail? A tail? I didn't order a tail on the end of my mascara, but are you an animal? What are you? A fox? A dog? What kind of mascara are you trying to be? I mean, really. Oh, look, a tail again. There's always a tail. Anyway, the wand it just looks like your average kind of wand. Nothing kind of particularly special. Nothing that is really getting me that excited. It just looks very standard. The worst sentences a guy could ever hear. I mean, really. So anyway, I'm just going to go in with this onto my eyes. Oh my gosh, I can barely recognise myself right now. We're not even going to be able to see this mascara, are we? I mean, really. But, I mean, I can... What is that tail all about? What is that? Oh my gosh, it's just getting longer and longer. What do I even do with the tail? I'll put it back in there. Oh my gosh. By the way, I know what a mistake that was there. Uh, do my head in. Okay. This mascara is meant to volumize as well. So that's its uh, one job in life, to volumize. It's not doing very well. I would have fired its ass at this point. I mean, I know you can barely see it. I mean, I'm sorry for this. Should I get, I'm going to get the eyeliner off right and I'm going to do the mascara because I know we're not even going to be able to really see it. So I'm going to plus the fact that I just cannot take myself seriously at all right now the sooner I can get this eyeliner situation off the better so I'll be going to be back in a minute okay so I'm back I managed to get the eyeliner off and I look like a relatively acceptable human being right now so here we go again I just knew that the mascara you know would not get a chance to really kind of shine with that situation going on this mascara did come in three different uh tubes I think one was pink one was like a silvery shade and the other one was this one which is rose gold okay so i mean it's not bad i wouldn't say it's volumizing i would definitely say it's more of like a shaping mascara a lengthening mascara uh just not is this volumizing it just says black mascara okay so i'm sure this was the volumizing one but anyway i'm just gonna apply another layer it's a little bit kind of clumpacious. It wants to kind of clump together. It's not like giving me as much in the way of like volume as I like, but it's really not that bad. Um, it was a couple of pounds. The packaging is beautiful. Never had any success with any mascaras from AliExpress or eBay, but I'm kind of liking this one. I know it's mm, maybe clumping together my lashes a little bit, but I will try to correct that. 
I mean, um, I don't know, by the second I'm hating it. Mm. Like my eyelashes look like they're a little bit like wasted right now, like hello, we've we've had a really tough night. We just went out for like an after work drink and it's ended up licking tequila from Sheila's Bubayas and I mean this is this is what happened the next morning. That's like my eyelashes have been through, you know, a serious party and it's the morning after and they're just feeling like utter crap okay so i went ahead and plopped on a little bit of highlight because you know i was looking glowy anyway but you can never have too much glow i mean i need this shirt you can never have too much glow i mean really i put lipstick on and i'm just like here i am but look okay the main event of course the eyelashes i had mixed feelings about this at first i was like mm. and then i was like yeah i'm kind of liking this and then i was like Mm, uh, and then I was like, yeah, and now I'm like, yes, I mean, really, I do actually really, really like this, like, for the price, it's actually really, really good, the one thing I will say is that you do have to, like, take your time to kind of really build up your lashes, um, for this but it's given me a nice amount of length it's given me a nice little bit of a curl and it's not really giving me much in the way of volume like i don't feel like my eyelashes would knock somebody unconscious if i you know invaded their personal space but i do really like the look i mean look at that to me they're quite thin like wispy long as opposed to like like a clumpy voluminous you know long if that makes sense but i'm really liking it and it was so affordable that I'm kind of feeling it right now. I reach my eyebrow and that is always a really good sign. So this video has actually been really, really positive because I like everything that I've tried. I think the mascara is actually really, really good, especially when you consider the price. I would definitely recommend you have a look into this mascara. It's the Neye Girl. And as I said, this is in the rose gold tube. There are two more. This is the rose gold one. I can't comment on the other two, but... Uh, yeah, this one I really do like a lot. I think it's really, really nice. And the packaging is just beautiful. So I think the liquid eyeliner is probably really good. If you use liquid eyeliner and if you are um, good at using it, I think you would really, really like this. Again, super affordable, super cute packaging. Finishing off with the uh, rose gold elixir. This is a product that I think I'm going to have to wear a little bit more uh, just to really kind of form a proper opinion on it but just going off first impressions I actually really really like it I liked how it felt going on I liked the smell of it I liked how my foundation applied over the top um my face does feel a little bit like oily right now it's like I've been on a 10 day trek through the Amazon jungle in monkey mating season and you know there's been many occasions where I've just got a little bit embarrassed at having to see monkeys mate I mean, what I don't know, but that seems like it would be a situation that would make you a bit oily. Your canoe, you thought you'd parked it up, but you hadn't tied it strongly enough to the stick, whatever you tie a canoe to, I have no idea. And the canoe sailed off, so you're canoeless. In the Amazon jungle, monkeys are mating all around. This is the oiliness that you may have on your face at that point. All that being said, I do think it feels lovely on my face and I feel like it would be really nice before bed just to add that hydration. The only kind of negative point I will say is that this was so affordable and you may think that it's kind of wrong and judgmental of me to be thinking that the ingredients mustn't be very good because it is so cheap, but I just am a little bit suspicious that how could they put such like high quality ingredients in here and make it so cheaply the price of it is so low i'm kind of wondering well what is really in here is that wrong do you think i would really appreciate your views on that that situation uh, does price equal quality generally i think it tends to in a lot of areas of life but what do you think about like skincare type situations do you think this really does contain 24 karat um gold flakes do you think that this does contain all of the omega and the vitamins that it claims to contain i have no idea but i'd be really keen to hear what your thoughts are see i wouldn't really want to be uh, putting something on my face or recommending something to you that may contain um, not so good ingredients so, okay so i hope that you've enjoyed the video please let me know in the comments down below why do i always say that and then it rhymes and it throws me off my ending and then 
we get into crazy town and then I start singing and it's just a nightmare and I'm cringing. I'm thinking, oh my gosh, why was I even born? Let me know down in the comments down below. Let me know down below. This is just becoming an absolute train wreck at this point but if you've tried any of these products will you let me know let others know what your thoughts were and yeah i just hope that you enjoyed the video having a great day and i will see you all soon bye this is awkward this is so awkward now okay i'm going now i can never go i can never go i'm the kind of person that i'll be on the phone to my mum and i'm like okay bye and she's like bye and i'm like Bye! And she's like, bye. I'm like, okay, bye, bye, bye. She's like, bye, 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 bye. And I'm like, okay, bye. She's like, bye, 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 bye. She's like, bye. And I'm like, bye. And then she just hangs up and I'm like, okay.